there's a scene behind me of uh, mares. Some of the foals were sleeping and it looked like a Stubbs picture. And I, I thoroughly enjoy coming here and just seeing the scenery. But I've been to the pre-training at the Tim's and looked some of the roaring lions that have been uh, broken in and just quietly moving away with them uh, there. And then up here to the stud to see them as they are in their natural way straight out of the field, which as a trainer, I probably like to see because I see a lot of homebreds at studs. And I probably enjoy that more than seeing horses when they've been slightly dressed up for the sales. Great seeing John and Thady cast their eye over them and seeing if they could see the old man in, the, in his sons and daughters. And it certainly is clear to everybody how quite remarkably he's stamped his stock. Apart from the, the grey coming through and quite a lot of them, they all have his head and that great temperament that went with, went with him. You know, they're, they're very unflappable, very calm natured horses. Well, when I look at the ones I've seen here today, uh, I've noticed they had that outlook of his good eye, bold head. I can see that that mental determination is there. He's given them great substance. He had a wonderful rib cage and heart room and depth, and he's given, passed that on as a great middle to them. And not one came out looking weedy or weak. They all came out carrying themselves well with that substance. And Given that his father kitten's joy can often get you what I call very light-framed horses, quite narrow, he hasn't done that. The street sense has come through in his pedigree and he's given them something that a trainer can work on. I think you learn by your errors as a trainer more than what you get right sometimes. And certainly I know we wouldn't have run him in the derby if I knew afterwards that a, a mile and a quarter was his absolute best trip. You know, he was a seven furlong to a mile and a quarter horse as a racehorse. And to that extent, these horses like that, they'll be possessed of that, what I call seven furlong mile, mile and a quarter uh, speed, which is, which is what you want in the thoroughbred. We've got the one crop. Let's hope uh, that he can leave a legacy with at least a couple of colts and a filly and leave something to, for everyone to hang their hat on for the future.